What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online jamily? This, of course, here's Jamiroquai 2000 with another episode of the Jamiroquai Minute. All the latest Jamiroquai news, and it looks like the official Jamiroquai mailing list, which used to be under the control of Virgin EMI, has now reverted back to the owners at Sony Music UK. So let's get into more news about that. In future Jamiroquai uh, promotion news, I had to record a Jamiroquai Minute to note a major uh, development that just recently came out in a brand new email listing that was recently put out by the official Jamiroquai mailing list. Now, over the la during the entirety of Automaton and Rockdust Lightstar, the uh, Jamiroquai mailing list had been used sparingly to pr promote upcoming uh, tour dates and singles and everything from Jamiroquai after they w ended up leaving Sony Music back in 2006 to sign with Universal Music. Uh, so far, uh, doing two albums on the record label, of course, two 2010's Rock Dust Light Store, and of course the recent 2017's Automaton. Well, according to this new mailing list, which was basically uh, being sent out to promote the upcoming Pitchback Playback concerts, or should I say listening parties that are going to be happening in the UK in the beginning of in the beginning and middle of September in three separate uh, listing events, well, it, there was a little annotation at the top of the email which was rather interesting, saying that the ownership of the official Jamiroquai mailing list has now been put under the control of Sony Music UK, which is not surprising, um, but uh, it's kind of alarming because the mailing list had been used previously by Jamiroquai and Jamiroquai Limited to promote their releases of between Rock to Slide Star and uh, Automaton while they were under a new contract with Universal Music. Well, so this basically means that uh, the official mailing list is now under the control of Sony Music UK, most notably their subsidiary label, label, which is called Sony Legacy Recordings, which is a record label that handles a lot of their classic artists' um, music reissues. In the case of this, Jamiroquai just recently reissued uh, the 25th anniversary of uh, traveling about moving for the year 2021, so it does not. It's not surprising that the EML list, or sorry, I should say the mailing list, should go back in the hands of Sony Music, so they can promote upcoming uh, Jamiroquai reissues of all the albums that they released under Sony uh, during their time with Sony up to the year 2006. Um, I, I'm neglected recording a video to talk about this, but this is very, very interesting. Um, so, if any more future a, a future um, email did get sent out after this notable uh, uh, development, uh, basically promoting the 25th anniversary a vinyl reissue of traveling a movie coming out in the middle of December of 2021. If any more information comes up pertaining to this move by the mailing list of going back to Sony Music UK, I'll be sure to report it on the subreddits, of course, the R Jamiroquai and the R of the Reddit family, and of course here in a future video of the Jamir fan, um, Jamir fan 2000 YouTube channel. But, uh, you know, very interesting things, and as always, things do kind of change, so very, very interesting news. And as always, this is Jamir fan 2000 I'll see you really soon with another Jamiroquai Minute. Bye-bye, everybody, and take care.